Every time your heart beats, it pumps blood, oxygen, and vital nutrients through your arteries to every part of your body. In order for your heart to be able to do this, there needs to be a specific pressure in your blood vessel. Too little or too much pressure can have life-altering effects. When your body pressure is high, this could indicate your heart is working overtime. And many have long-term consequences like damaged arteries, a weak heart, and other heart-related diseases. So what can cause high blood pressure and what can we do about it? All this and more coming right up. One of the most common factors of hypertension is inactivity. It can result in high blood pressure as it promotes fat storage, which puts pressure on the heart and blood vessels. Furthermore, the little exposure to moderate stress on your heart from exercise tends to make it less effective when you need it most. However, that can change. Research shows that getting at least 30 minutes of regular aerobic exercise such as running or swimming can assist in lowering your blood pressure. Alcohol is another cause due to the stimulating effects it has on the sympathetic nervous system which is responsible for the flight or fight response. Unfortunately, one side effect of this response is an increase in blood pressure. The simplest way to stop this is to stop the alcohol or at least restrict your consumption. Not only can your drink affect your blood pressure, but food can as well, with one common factor in most of them being the salt content. This is because sodium is hydrophilic, which is just a fancy word that means sodium attracts water. Hence, when you have excess sodium, your kidneys respond by retaining water in the bloodstream which increases the blood pressure on your blood vessels. Sure, cutting back on your salt in your cooking is a helpful way to reduce salt intake. However, reducing your processed foods will have the greatest impact. Now, sodium aside, overall poor diets can contribute to high blood pressure levels. While other mechanisms play a part, weight gain is, is a definite factor due to the negative effects of excess fat being stored. Incorporating healthy foods such as fruits, vegetables, lean protein, and healthy fats has been shown to be one of the most powerful ways to counteract high blood pressure. The last thing that you can consume that is hypertensive is medication. There's no end to the number of medications that list increased blood pressure as a possible side effect. Some medications raise blood pressure by causing your blood vessels to constrict, while others cause your blood vessels to retain water. Some of the most commonly used ones are decongestants, non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, and hormonal birth control pills. Discussing with your doctor or pharmacist about current medication you're on and its side effects can help to determine effective ways to keep your blood pressure down. So there's no need to stress. Which brings us to our next factor, stress. There's another reason for hypertension due to its effects on the nervous system. Stress causes your adrenal glands to excrete more adrenaline and noradrenaline, which can lead to high blood pressure. Additionally, our fight or flight response causes our blood vessels to contract. Therefore, it's important that we find a way to reduce stress and keep it from snowballing into chronic long-term stress. For some, that looks like prayer. For others, it's exercise. And for others, hanging out with a friend or family member. If you have high blood pressure, chances are that your family member may have it too. High blood pressure and heart disease have a strong genetic component. Although you can't change your genetics, implementing healthy lifestyle habits has been able to reduce the risk of high blood pressure significantly. For example, quitting smoking can help, as smoking has been linked to hypertension in many studies. Even the occasional cigarette every now and then can add up to high blood pressure. The nicotine in cigarettes can cause your blood vessels to temporarily narrow, while damaging the blood vessel cells' walls, resulting in stiff, inflexible walls and an increased risk of heart disease. Whatever your history is with cigarettes, any step towards reducing your exposure to smoke can help. And remember, you don't have to do it by yourself. Sleep apnea is another factor that can add the pressure. This is due to the biological mechanisms in your body, as not breathing efficiently reduces your body's oxygen levels. Your brain responds to this by telling your blood vessels to constrict and prioritize oxygen flow to your heart and brain over the rest of your organs and skeletal muscles. The effects can continue long after the sun comes up. And if you're a habitual snorer, 
then visiting a doctor or a specialist in sleep apnea may be beneficial for you. The last and final one is one that there is no getting out of, and that is aging. Breedings tend to rise with age and do so significantly after the age of 30. By the age of 75, almost 95% of people have high blood pressure. While changes in your blood vessels and heart are a natural part of the aging process, hypertension in older adults most often goes back to all the other risk factors we already discussed. After all, 75 years of stress, inactivity, and burgers and fries is going to do far more damage to your blood vessels than 20 years of unhealthy living. You can't turn back the clock, so focusing on decreasing your other risk factors will go a long way to helping with hypertension. And check your blood pressure regularly at home or at each doctor's visit to keep on top of your blood pressure. So those are just 10 common factors that can increase your blood pressure. Hope you enjoyed watching and why not subscribe so you can be notified about more great videos that will help improve your health. See you next time.